So we're going to be talking about some time for fragrances today. And I have come just for the occasion. I just don't know which ones I want to go with. Time for aviators. Ooh, that's live. That's live. Or should I go with these? The time for these are called Fausto. Fausto. That's live too. It's live. I don't know. Maybe I won't do either since the autofocus messes up. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Top 20 Tom Ford fragrances coming right up. You don't want to miss this. Let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Derry, man. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I cover fashion on this channel and I cover fragrances. So if you're into looking good and smelling great, you have found the right channel. Please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell icon as well to ensure you get notified anytime I upload new content on the channel. So guys, you'll see the title of today's video, man. We're gonna be jumping into one of my favorite houses of all time and we're talking about the house of Tom Ford. I actually have 37 total bottles that are Tom Ford fragrances in my collection, but I wanna to talk to you guys about my top 20. I mean, top 20 is already gonna take long enough, so I didn't wanna cover 37 fragrances and put them all in order. Maybe one day we'll see, I may do that, but today we're gonna to be talking about the top 20. All right, guys, so I am rocking some Tom Ford stuff that I had to come dress for the occasion, I, I had to. So we have a nice Tom Ford tie, pocket square, and of course, these shades are some aviators from Tom Ford, but I don't know if I wanna rock the aviators or if I want to go with these specs from Tom Ford. These are called the Fausto. I think you, that's how you pronounce that. I don't know, man. This, this is a groovy look too, man. Let's just go with these. We'll see how long the autofocus is able to keep up with me. When it starts tripping, I'm taking them off. All right, anyway, so we're gonna be talking about the top 20 Tom Ford fragrances in my collection. Some of these are from, a lot of these are from the private collection. Man, it's just hard for some of the uh, ones in the designer range to stack up to the private blends. They're a little bit more creative, but another story for another day. I do have some from the private and some from the, the, um, the uh, what do they call it? The, not designer collection. You guys know. I'll find, I'll remember the name in a minute. Anyway, we got some from both ranges <laughs> uh, today. So if you want to see what's on my list of the top 20 Tom Ford fragrances in my collection, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Sky. All right, guys, we are back, man. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into the video. Before I do that, guys, a lot of the time for fragrances, especially uh, the private collection, some of them are discontinued. But I want you guys to head over to scentsplit.com. Scentsplit.com. If you see anything on this list, especially the ones that are discontinued, I know that my man over at Scent Split carry Scent Split. It's a tongue twister. Carries a lot of these fragrances, so if you see something that you like, especially of the discontinued private collection fragrances, make sure you head over to Scent Split and get a decant of these fragrances. All right, with that being said, let's jump into the top 20. Speaking of discontinued, I think this is one that was recently discontinued from the private collection, and it comes in in the 20th spot, a fragrance that you hear absolutely nothing about, but this one is called Patchouli. Absolute. Patchouli Absolute. And as the name indicates, of course, as you can imagine, there's a lot of patchouli in this scent. I actually have this sprayed on my hand right now, and it's, it's beautiful, guys. It is really gorgeous. And I really like to use this as a, a layering fragrance to add a little bit of patchouli to the fragrance. Now, by itself, it's absolutely good as well, especially if you are like me and you like the note of patchouli. Oh, man. It's really good. Get your nose on it. I don't want this video to go on too long, so I'm gonna give you guys some brief descriptions and keep it moving, but for the patchouli lovers out there, get your nose on this. Nobody talks about this one, but it is good. And of course, this one's called Patchouli Absolute. 
All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, one of the newer releases from the Private Blend collection uh, of fragrances, and this one is called Ebon Fume. Ebon Fume, love the bottle presentation on this fragrance. Um, they actually uh, came back out with two other Tom Fords. I think it was Bois Marocaine, and actually another one that comes in this bottle as well. I can't remember the name of it, but anyway, all three of them are really good. I haven't I had a chance to get my, a bottle of those two, but they're really good as well. But anyway, this one comes in at the 19th spot. This is really Palo Santo and a little bit of an incense smoke in the background. Now this smells like there's a lot of sandalwood in it to me. If you smell fragrances like Caban uh, from YSL, um, you know, fragrances like that that have a really heavy sandalwood note, it smells a lot like that to me. But again, it's really good. I love it. Again, a little bit of an incense vibe in the background as well. But this one is from the private collection. This is a little bit more of a recent release, but this one is called Ebon Fume, and it comes in at the 19th spot. Now, coming in at number 18 here, this is a fragrance that was kind of love-hate. I'm actually one of the people that really, really like this one, um, and this is called Lavender Extreme. Lavender Extreme. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it only it's only in the 50 ml size bottle. From what I understand, they never made this one in the 100 ml. And as you guys will see, most of my fragrances are 100 ml because I like 100 ml bottles. I like to keep everything very, very um, aesthetically pleasing to the eye because I'm a collector. Um, but anyway, outside of that, of course, lavender. Lavender and vanilla is really what this fragrance is all about. And I really like it. I like lavender and fragrances. And this one was really good to me. I've always wanted it. A bit overpriced to me, but another story for another day. But I got it for a pretty decent price um, when I picked it up from one of the fragrances and cosmetic stores. So anyway, in the 18th spot, if you like lavender and vanilla, this may be your thing. And this one is called Lavender Extreme. All right, coming in at number 17, this is probably one of the best citrus, probably the best citrus floral fragrance from the private collection. And this one is called Neroli Portofino. Neroli Portofino. I actually have the Neroli Porto, Portofino Aqua as well. And there's also a, also a Neroli Porto, Portofino Forte, which is a little bit stronger than this. If you can get that one, that would probably be the better option because it does perform a little bit better than this one. Uh, but anyway, that one's discontinued as well. And, you know, if you don't want to sell an arm and a leg or a kidney, then you probably it's going to be hard to get the Neroli Portofino um, Forte. But anyway... This one works just as well for me. It only lasts about four hours, but that's cool because I just take it and reapply. Of course, the primary note in this is Neroli. Uh, there's a lot of fragrances that when they feature, pro prominently feature a note of Neroli, a lot of people make reference to this fragrance. Um, one of the pioneers in the Neroli uh, fragrance category. But anyway, I love it. It's on the list at number 17. This is Neroli Portofino. All right, now coming in at number 16, this fragrance is called Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry, oh man. You know this list is good when Lost Cherry is number 16. List. Listen, I really like this fragrance. I really, really do. Another one to me, it was kind of love-hate for a lot of people. A lot of people knock it because it doesn't perform that great. I get it. And when you're spending that kind of money, I, I get it. I mean, a lot of people are really big on performance. But again, take it with you, take a decant, reapply. It works just the same. Another one that gets about four hours of performance, but if you like cherries, almonds, and a slight booziness, this is a fragrance that you will really probably enjoy. If you don't mind uh, the performance on it, it smells phenomenal. So check it out. Again, this one is called Lost Cherry, and it comes in at number 16. All right, guys, now coming in at number 15, uh, pff, listen, I know this is probably a fragrance that a lot of you will not really like, but I like it. That's where it's, why it's in my top 20, and I'll get, this is out of 37 Tom Ford fragrances, but number 15 goes to this one right here, and it's Oud Wood Intense. Oud Wood Intense. Um, it's not a lot that you'll find here that is gonna remind you of the original Oud Wood. It does start to resemble it on the dry down, but initially when it opens up, this has a very animalic note of castorium, which gives off this almost this petrol kind of vibe, but that doesn't last for a long time. Uh, you know, again, some of the more truer elements of the original Oud Wood are in here, but they have that kind of amped up castorium note and some leather in here. So it does make it, in my opinion, a more intense version of the original. But I'm telling you, this is an acquired taste, but it is a taste that I enjoy. 
So the 15th spot goes to this one right here, and this is called Old Wood Intense. All right, coming in in the 14th spot here, this fragrance comes from the signature line. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Uh, from the signature line, this fragrance is called Ombre Leather. Ombre Leather. This is from the signature collection. It started off as a private blend fragrance, then it moved over to the signature line, and it's really good, man. Listen, um, do I think it's redundant to have this in Tuscan Leather? Potentially, depending on what kind of fragrance lover you are. If you're kind of a collector like me, it's not redundant. Um, and if the Tuscan leather, which this does resemble quite a bit, is a little bit too, a little too leathery for you, then you may enjoy this composition right here even better. Listen, I love it. Uh, this is the, uh, the Eau de Parfum concentration. as a parfum now. I prefer this one uh, because it just works for me. But again, it's a little bit more wearable than Tuscan leather. So there you go with that. It comes in at the 14th spot. I love it. This is called Ombre Leather. Now coming in at the 13th spot, lucky number 13, this is called Fucking Fabulous from Tom Ford. And this is a very fabulous fragrance to me. Another fragrance that features the note of almond. Lost Cherry has almond, this has almond and vanilla. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's a very, very sexy fragrance, very seductive scent uh, from the scent itself to the name. But it comes in at the 13th spot because I just have a lot of bangers on this list. But I do really enjoy this one, especially the candle too. This, the, the, the fragrance, the candle, it all works for me. Again, this one is called Fucking Fabulous. Now, we just talked about this fragrance and it comes in at the 12th spot. This one is called Tuscan Leather. Tuscan Leather. So again, if you never smell Tuscan Leather, if you like ombre leather, you're probably going to like this as well. Again, I just think they kind of amped up the leather in this one. You know, that, that's kind of sort of what it smells like to me. Uh, but you get, of course, the leather in here. You get some raspberry. Again, a little bit more of an animalic take on the leather note than you're going to find in uh, ombre leather. But still, at the end of the day, I really, really enjoy this fragrance. Like I said, a lot of people say it smells like a brick. I don't know what a brick smells like, but I don't know. A lot of people say, say it, so maybe it does. So anyway, it comes in at the 12th spot for me. Again, this is called Tuscan Leather. All right, guys, now this is right outside of the top 10, but I love this rose-based fragrance. This one is called Noir de Noir. Noir de Noir, this is a very sexy and sultry and seductive rose-based fragrance. Again, I'm not really gonna go into a whole lot of notes and stuff on these, but if you like the note of rose, and you like a sexy, seductive fragrance, then this one may be even higher on your list. But like I said, guys, I got some heat coming in. Uh, 10 from 10 to one, it's a lot of heat. All right, so you'll understand why as good as this fragrance is, it just missed the top 10, but I still really enjoy it, I love it. It's a dark, sexy, sultry rose fragrance. This one is called Noir de Noir. All right, coming in in the 10th spot, which may be blasphemous to some of you, but this is where it falls on my personal list. This one is called Reeve d'Ombre. Reeve d'Ombre. Now, very simply put, this has some nice florals and citruses on the top, primarily citruses, and it contrasts with the nice ambery dry down. So you get that kind of fresh citrusy opening, and then you get the amber on the dry down. That's really what this fragrance is all about. It is really, really good, and it has to be good to be in my top 10. But again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, Every, everything on the list is good, but especially these top 10, some heavy hitters. So in the 10th spot, I think he has this one on scent split. It's discontinued, but if you want to put your nose on it and you never have, this is your opportunity to do so. This is called Reeve de Hombre. All right, now coming in in the ninth spot, another one that's unfortunately discontinued. Seems like Tom Ford discontinues a lot of the great private blend fragrances. So if somebody can please get this video to him, Tom Ford, bring this one back. Uh, but anyway, uh, this one is in the ninth spot, and this is called Plum Japonais. Plum Japonais, for a lot of people, this is, a, this is a grail fragrance. And I would say it is, especially because it's discontinued. This is a boozy, kind of boozy plum fragrance with some amber on the dry down. An uh, ambery base, that's really what this is. Um, this is one I'll probably do a full review of because it is really, really good, man. But anyway, the ninth spot goes to this fragrance right here, and it's called Plum Japonais. 
All right, guys, in the A spot, it is safe to say this is probably the most slept on time for a private blend fragrance. I love it. Well, it's one more in the top 10 that maybe it may give a run for its money in the slept on category. Anyway, this one is called Beneath Fatale. Beneath Fatale. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you love uh, vanilla, ambery fragrances, you're going to enjoy this fragrance. Oh, this is so good. I can't really... It's got some coffee in here. It has some plum. It has some... It has a little bit of a booziness in the top. Of course, it has vanilla, a little bit of tobacco. I'm telling you guys, this is a standout fragrance. I think this one may be discontinued as well. But like I said, Scent Split does have most of these where you can at least sample it. Check it out. Check it out. I promise you guys, this is one of the best. And nobody talks about this one. But it's in the A spot for a reason. Trust me. This one is in the A spot. And this is Benefe Town. All right, coming in in the seventh spot, this is probably the next most slept on fragrance behind Beneath Fatale and the private fragrances, the private blends. This one is called Fougere Platine. Fougere Platine, man, again, they have a lot of fragrances that kind of fall into the Fougere category. You have this, you have Beau de Jour, which is also one that was in the private collection. You have Fougere d'Argent, and all of them are good, but guys, this is my favorite. This is my favorite of the bunch, Fougere Platine, because it has a spiciness in it that I love with clary sage and basil uh, with the lavender as it opens up. And then, of course, you have uh, this really, really nice kind of tobacco-y kind of note as it dries down as well. I'm telling you guys, it's phenomenal. Uh, again, very creative fragrance to be a Fougere. You still have the Fougere qualities, but with some tobacco spicy goodness. Trust me. Why it's in the seventh spot, this one is called Fougere Platine. All right, guys, now in the sixth spot, this fragrance blew me away when I first smelled it. And it's on a lot of people's top list when they talk about Tom Ford fragrances. It's just missed the top five, but I love it, man. This is called Black Orchid. Black Orchid, man, and this is a beautiful scent. It really highlights florals uh, when it opens up, and then when you get into some of that really sexy goodness when it starts to dry down, man. Like I said, for a lot of people, this is one of their favorite Tom Ford fragrances, and I do not, uh, you know, argue with that one bit. It just missed the top five, but you'll see my top five is, my top five is crazy. So that's why it's just outside of the top five. But I love this scent. Has some, one of the highlights of this fragrance to me is that Yangling uh, note. A very seductive floral note. Uh, but anyway, check this one out, guys. I love it. The EDT is good enough for me. This one is called Black Orchid. All right, un unfortunately, another discontinued fragrance, but it is an absolute gem. I'm happy to have at least 50 ml of this in my possession. This is Amber Absolute. Amber Absolute, for a lot of people, this is the Grail Amber fragrance. Amber is one of my favorite notes. I love Amber. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. It's so good. I don't want to. I don't want to go on and on because I know it's hard to get. But I think this may be available for sample as well. But guys, if you like amber, you gotta experience this fragrance. Just gotta experience it. You know, you just gotta experience this. This is the, the Holy Grail amber fragrance. One of the Holy Grail amber fragrances from Tom, and it's from Tom Ford, of course. Amber Absolute. If you can, guys, please check this one out. All right, now coming in in the fourth spot, this is probably the most recognizable fragrance from the Tom Ford private collection, and this is Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco Vanille. Again, probably by name the most recognizable for good reason. It's one of the best, and that's why it's in my top five. Of course, Tobacco Vanilla, a little bit of dry fruits in this one as well. It's an amazing fragrance and that combination of the tobacco and the vanilla the kind of contrast that that creates is what makes this fragrance so great and we're in a time of the year where you get to wear this fragrance as much as you would like i actually have the beard oil with this fragrance i talked about that on another video but i'll talk about that another time but i love it that's why it's in the top five at the number four spot a classic this is called tobacco beneath Coming in at the number three spot, this, you guys know it's been following me for any amount of time how much I love this next fragrance. It is from the Signature Collection, but it is that good, man. This is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. 
And this is in the third spot. And you know if this is number three, the one and two have to be dynamite. There's nothing that I have to say bad about this fragrance. Again, it features that note of kofi, which is an Indian dessert. So it's a very, uh, very nice floral gourmand scent. That's the best way for me to describe this. It definitely, the kofi definitely brings a gourmand element to it, but it's, uh, you know, again, accented by some nice florals in it as well. Again, you guys know about this one, so I won't talk too much uh, longer about it, but I absolutely love this fragrance. That's why it's in the number three spot. Check out Noir Extreme. It almost pains me to put this in the number two spot. But it is what it is. It's just how I'm feeling today, man. You might hit me tomorrow, I might switch one and two. So know that. But then right now in the number two spot, it goes to this one right here. Is Oud Wood. Oud Wood. Oud Wood is Oud Good. Yep. This is so good. I could sing the praises of this fragrance all day long, and there's not enough words. There's scriptive words in the dictionary for me to articulate to you how good this fragrance is to my nose. So I will just do this. The number two spot goes to Woodwood. All right, and the number one time for fragrance in my collection. This came in and it has made me question whether or not Oud Wood is number one. I go back and forth between the two, but this is a good one, guys. This is called Tobacco Oud. Tobacco Oud, one of the sexiest fragrances in the world. Tobacco Oud Whiskey. You guys know what time it is with this one. It's in the number one spot for a reason. And again, this is from the private collection. This is called Tobacco Oud. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you my top 20 Tom Ford fragrances. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. You don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.